Established in 1802, West Point went co-ed in 1976. Four years later, there were 62 female graduates, of which only two were black. Joy Dallas and Priscilla Pat Locke were the first black females to graduate from West Point. Today, 22% of cadets are women and less than 4% are black women. West Point has graduated less than 400 black women in its 217 year history. This year's class of 2019 includes 32 black women. All right, I am Lieutenant Colonel Erica Mitchell. Uh, I was born Pitts, so that's where you'll find me. I graduated class of 2001. Kate Campbell, Stephanie Riley, Gabrielle Alford. Um, Cadet Stewart, class of 2021, Company E4. My name is Jasmine Haynes, Company A4, class of 2022. I'm Cadet Natalia Williams, class of 2022, also Company A4. I would say before I came to West Point, I was very race neutral. Race neutral in the sense that I identified as a basketball player or a hard worker or X, Y, and Z. Uh, but coming to West Point, I became, you know, a black basketball player or, you know, a black soon to be female officer. Um, so there's not a lot of brown people in companies, obviously, um, and I think because there's some people here that have never seen a black person in their life, which it's 2019, you know, like ask Siri, ask Alexa, figure it out, like, you know, try to immerse yourself in different cultures. Um, if you mess up or if you do well, you suddenly become, you know, the representative for X group, which is a little ridiculous. and. I'm experiencing a lot of the stereotype threat. So like I come in like plead beer and all I hear is like, oh, typically, you know, black females don't do good in no mood. Black females don't do good in swim. They always fail that class. Oh, you know, females with bigger bodies, they always fail no move. And it's like you go on with that kind of cloudy mindset and then you go in and fail and you're like, oh, well, that was gonna happen anyway because I'm a black female here at West Point. Every African-American, this is anecdotal, every African-American female I've talked to except for maybe a few, in CLDT, when we get ranked, we're ranked the lowest in the squad. And this happened to me during CLDT, and I talked to the uh, our officer who was like connected to our platoon individually, and asked him like, why is this like, why is this happening? What was the reason? Did anybody give me a reason? And he said no. And then I went and asked each person individually in the squad, like not not in a way of like aggression, but like. Um, you know, like I had this perception that I was doing well, and if I'm not, that's a problem. So, like, what am I doing wrong so I can be better for the second half of CLDT? And everybody was like, no, like, you carry your weight, like, blah, blah, blah. Even when you're talking about, like, company grades, like, if you look at the way that black people, specifically black women, are graded with, like, their MDOs, and, or not MD grades within a company, like, there's a pattern and they've been looking at it, but not enough to the fact where like, it's something that people talk about. Um I feel accepted. Uh, I can't answer that confidently, yes. It's not that I don't feel accepted, it's that um, I don't think the environment is necessarily the most inclusive. So I think West Point has this great idea of pushing for diversity, but just because you sprinkle a little black in there, a little, a little Asian, you know, some Hispanic people, um, that doesn't necessarily mean that the environment is inclusive. Um, I think that things are getting better, but we still have a lot of work to do. I feel like I'm here at West Point, but I'm not getting that full cadet experience. It's like there's a running joke here, but I'm not a part of that joke. I'm not a part of the brotherhood, you know, the fraternity that they have. So I feel accepted as a person, but I definitely don't feel as if um, socially 
um, I'm having the same experiences as my like white male counterparts. And I can understand that like anytime there's like a little bit of hazing or something in our CCEP classes, they're like, okay, but what if that was a female? And I would say it depends with acceptance. Um, I feel like constantly there's a struggle specifically for women like are you accepted because you're a woman then it's are you accepted because you're black and you never really know like in what room am I walking in like is which part of me going to be accepted so there's that piece and then do I feel accepted I've accepted myself how about that I've accepted myself in the place where I'm at so I'm okay with whether someone does or doesn't maybe that was the difference between those of us that finished and those of us that didn't. We already knew how to play the social role. We already knew how to move in predominantly white spaces. Being perceived like when I would speak, like it being perceived as having an attitude, I had to speak differently. So that's like my first personality change, like change how I come across or how I'm perceived by other people. And like just change my actions. like. If I see everyone else doing something and I was doing something else, like normally I wouldn't just do what everyone else is doing. But I learned during Beast that, especially here apparently, that that's what you have to do. This is kind of funny. I didn't want to graduate for me. A subset of like the reason I came oh, here is really because to represent the group of people who don't see representation like I found motivation in being able to look at other leaders who have been in my shoes that also look like me and just be, being able to think like if I can push through this hard time I can be that leader and motivate other cadets to come through and um, just being so like at the bottom I want to be able to speak to those people or those cadets coming in who are at the bottom like me. And then also proving yourself that you can make it through here. I think that's been like a lot of what drives me and my friends. Like just like, okay, well if people don't believe in you, what can you do other than prove them wrong?